All right, so I just woke up. Oh my God. My brain is not fully there. My hair is standing up. You could say standing on business. I'm about to do the same because Jake Paul just dropped a tweet that I thought I would never, ever see. Yet, here we are. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson has just been announced live on Netflix Saturday, July 20th in Arlington Stadium. That's Jerry World. Are we in real life? What just happened? And what do I think about this fight? The breakdown. Let's go. All right, so let's let's get some of the business into this out of the way first, all right? I'm assuming that last fight with Jake was the last one on his DAZN deal, and I know he had the Netflix documentary come out, and I had heard, I think, months and months ago that Jake was going to be doing more with Netflix, and Netflix was getting into the, the combat sports and just sports streaming business, so there you go. This will be... An everlasting love. This will be. I'm again. I'm still waking up. But this might be one of, if not the biggest combat sports event ever. They're doing it, by the way, in Arlington, Texas. This means they are doing it in Jerry World, AT and T Stadium. I think that's eighty thousand people in the venue. One of the biggest venues in America. And yes, that's exciting. Yes, that's that's insane that gets the blood pumping but then you look at the matchup and i know that jake is doing the, the bounce between pro boxing and money fights and i don't have a problem with that but again it's 57 year old mike tyson and i can't sit here and act like that's not a reality that mike is 57 that i'm assuming that means there's a ton of ailments that come along with it i didn't think it was a good idea when logan wanted to do it when Tommy wanted to fight Roy Jones, and I don't think it's a good idea that Jake is going to go and fight Mike outside of the incredible money that's about to be made, and yes, potentially hanging the mantle of Mike Tyson on his wall and saying, look at what I did to Mike Tyson. I can't deny that it'll be a massive fight, and this is why on Twitter, when I tweet something, by the way, people go absolutely apeshit, but this is why I said on Twitter, it's insane. One, because this will be, like I said, the biggest or one of the biggest combat sports shows, events, spectacles ever. It absolutely will be. Whether you like the fight, whether I like the fight, regardless, this will be huge, massive, insane numbers for this fight. But does that make it right? I like Jake. I like everything over at MVP, but my answer is no, it, it doesn't make this right and let's also make one thing clear the distinction between my opinion on this fight and my opinion on jake or anybody else that's a fighter wanting to share the ring with mike tyson are two different things i think mike's way too old to be in there after a lifetime of fighting and a lifetime between him and jake legitimately there's 30 years there jake like almost every other fighter including influencer boxers tommy fury logan would want to share the ring with mike tyson maybe it's their way of respecting mike but i'm not a fighter and me on the outside and i think you guys as fans on the outside looking in don't see it that way because we're not fighters that's just we're not that but him taking this opportunity is probably something most boxers would say yes to so i don't like the fight and I'm not going to sit here and say it's a good fight because whether Jake destroys Mike Tyson, hurts him, there's a back and forth war. Regardless, to me, Mike is too old to be fighting. That's the big thing for me. Like his brain, his body, he's a grown man. He'll make his decisions. But personally, I just don't like the fight. You guys know this about me. I'm not a massive fan of Mike Tyson, the person. But I have enough respect for him as a legend in this game and as someone that was the baddest man on the planet at one point in time and is one of the legends of the heavyweight division to know that him fighting at 58, and this will not, in my opinion, be an exhibition. I think Jake is going to come in to make a statement and try to put Mike on his face. I know how people are going to look at this. That's Mike Tyson. What are you talking about? That's Mike fucking Tyson. Jake Paul ain't beating Mike Tyson. I got news for you. That guy you see right now is not Mike Tyson. He's not the guy he was 20 years ago, 10 years ago, four years ago when he had the, the back and forth spar or exhibition, whatever you want to call it, with Roy Jones. He's not that guy anymore. I know he was an otherworldly athlete. I know that, you know, even Jake here has, has posted this mid session from Mike and his coach, Rafael Cordero. Shout out Huntington Beach, California, Kings MMA, right? He's going crazy on these mitts. This is, in, this is great stuff. Standing squared, which is, you know, Mike got away with in his younger years, but I don't think he's going to be 
something you want to do in front of Jake nowadays. But again, you see this and you're like, oh, damn, okay, he can hit the mitts. This is crazy. And Jake has said, a member of my team sent me this video that Mike's coach put out, put up two weeks ago and asked me if I was sure I want to do this. I said, yes, full transparency. That footage from Mike is not from two weeks ago. It is from 2020 before he fought Roy Jones. And I'm just saying that to let you guys know that yes, this is Mike looking explosive on the mitts. Obviously the mitts not hitting back. He's all offense, but he, he still does look like he's lost a couple of steps there, even though he's explosive, even though he hits hard, he, all that. And that was four years ago. This is, you know, 30 seconds to a minute of mitt work, but this is not a fight. This is not how a fight is going to go with Mike just getting to do offense, offense, offense. Jake has got power in his hands and he can throw off his back foot. And if he touches Mike on the chin, I don't think 58 year old Mike Tyson's chin is going to hold any type of power like it did back in his day. Like Jake hits him on the chin and Mike, in my opinion, goes night, night. And again, I know I'm in the minority from the people that are going to watch this that aren't clued into Jake and aren't clued into boxing in 2024 the way they were when Mike was in his prime. They just look at Mike Tyson. They see this video of him moving around. His hips are still shaking. He's still got a little power in those hands and you get excited, right? You're like, oh, he still got it. Not like that. Mike is a fraction of himself. And that's why I don't think this fight's a great idea. Am I going to lie to you guys and say it's not insane? No, it is insane. They're on Netflix, which mind you, is a subscription service. So yeah, you have to buy the subscription on Netflix, just like you'd have to buy the subscription on The Zone, but 260 million people are subscribed to Netflix. That is massive. You're talking almost a guaranteed 50 to 100 to 150, 200 million people watching this event. So yeah, it's fucking insane. And this is what I actually am interested in. This right here, is the thing that I think could be revolutionary because this is Netflix's first dip into combat sports or any type of sports on a streaming service. This is how the pay-per-view model, which is dying essentially, can be rerouted. This is the way you do it. It's the way I've thought you do this for years and no one's really taken that leap of faith. Jake and them, fair play to them on this. On the business side, I think this can make waves, and I think a lot of people will look at what this does business-wise and shift in combat sports and other live sports. That's a big deal. The fight itself doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It doesn't make sense for what Jake says he wants to do, which is become a world champion. This doesn't do that for Jake. And I know you're going to throw that right back in my face and go, wait, that's Mike Tyson. What are you talking about? I, I get it, but it's not. If that makes sense, it's not. It's not Mike from 20 years ago. It's not Mike in his prime. It's not Mike even close to his prime. He's 57. You can't, you can't, there's no way around that. He's 57. And I'm glad he's getting whatever bag he's getting. But when he talks about his boxing career and he says that a lot of it's blurry to him, that he doesn't remember a lot of it. And the fact that he was a pro in the heavyweight division, the hardest punching division for 20 years. I won't change this for Jake. It's not a good idea when you have legends coming back off the couch after a lifetime of fighting and then a lifetime of not fighting to try to revert that clock back. It just doesn't work that way. And I have a feeling, and I could be wrong here, that Jake's gonna hurt him bad. That chin is in no condition at 58 to take one of Jake's right hands or his left hooks and stay standing. If he goes in there and knocks Mike Tyson unconscious, again, it'll be great business. He will have the eyes of the world on him, but he will be the most hated man in boxing. And what he gets out of this exposure wise, he would not get from anything else. All that checks all the boxes for Jake, for MVP, all that. Great business, stop, check, check, check. I get that. And well done to them for getting this on Netflix. Again, that's a big thing. That's a massive W to me, the Netflix thing. But in my opinion, it doesn't make this the right fight. I think it's a bad idea. And it's because I know how good Jake has gotten. And I know that Mike Tyson is not what he was. It is a recipe for Jake to flatline Mike Tyson. And I think that's what's going to happen. So yeah, there it is. Uh, Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, July 20th. Listen, we'll keep covering this thing. And uh, we'll keep trying to figure out where this goes and what happens with it. And, and again, it's going to be the biggest combat sports event maybe ever. I know that sounds, you know crazy but that may be what this is maybe the biggest combat sports event ever but again i think for mike tyson it's it's like i said he's gonna get a, a crazy amount of money but 
for his health and safety. Not a good idea. The comment section, you let me know what you think. Uh, what happens with this Jake Paul, Mike Tyson fight? Because I have a feeling I know how this comment section is going to go. But on July 20th, live on Netflix and live in front of 80,000 people in Arlington, Texas, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson is actually happening. I know it's crazy to say in 2024, but what I'm about to say is even crazier. Who wins? I think I know, but I guess we'll find out.